Hey guys, so welcome back to the Unintentional ASMR Book Club. Um, I guess it's not really intentional. I mean, it, I guess it's not really unintentional if it's, you know, but <laughs> whatever. I'm gonna just start. So today's book is um, Matchmaking for Beginners. It's a novel by Maddie Dawson. Chapter one is entitled uh, Blakes. So let's begin. I shouldn't have come, and that's the truth of it. It's not even five o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm already fantasizing about a swift, painless coma. Something dramatic involving a nice collapse to the floor, with my eyes rolling back in their sockets and my limbs shaking. It's my niece's annual post-Christmas tea, you see when people who are barely crawling out from underneath weeks of holiday shopping, parties and hangovers find themselves required by Wendy Spinnaker to don their red sweaters and pleated slacks one more time and go stand for hours in her living room so they can admire her expensive Christmas decorations and her refurbished mansion and drink a ridiculous red cocktail that a high school student in a waitress uniform delivers on a tray. As near as I can tell, the purpose of this gathering is simply so my niece can remind the good people of Fairlane, Virginia that she is a very important person and wealthy besides a force to be reckoned with, a giver to charity, a chairwoman of most things. I can't keep track of it all to tell you the truth. I'm tempted to stand up and ask for a show of hands. How many of y'all have souls that have withered in just the last few hours? How many would like to join me in a conga line right out the front door? I know I'd have some takers. My niece would also have me murdered in my bed. I live far away and I'm old as dirt. So I wouldn't have come to this thing. Most years I have enough sense to avoid it. But Houndy said I had to. He said I'd regret not seeing the family for the last time if I didn't. Houndy worries about things like deathbed regrets. I think, he I think he imagines the end of life like the finish of a satisfying novel. Something that should be wrapped up with a nice bow. All of their sins forgiven. Like that would ever happen. I'll go, I said to him finally but I'm not telling them I'm sick. They'll know when they look at you, he said. And then of course they didn't. Worse, this year would be the time when my grandnephew Noah has just gotten himself engaged. And so the party has stretched on into infinity because we are all waiting for him and his fiance to arrive from California so she can be shown the high society she is marrying into. Alright, so that was uh, the book by Mary Maddie Dawson. I hope you will enjoy that. And if you like to hear the rest of it or you would like to read the rest of the book, uh, I put a link in, my, in the description box uh, on this YouTube page so you could click on it and just go ahead and buy. Until then, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.